When we arrived there, a hell started my case of work. A pickup was filled with blood. I, are you gay? And I said, yes. <laughs> Do you have any problems with that? Hi everyone, you're watching United24 Media. I'm Ilchenko Makita, and uh, today we're somewhere in the Donetsk region with uh, the veteran of uh, Russian-Ukrainian war who served in 2014-2016. Currently he's a combat medic in the 72nd Mechanized Brigade who's uh, been on the defense of Bukhledar for many months now. One of the first openly gay Ukrainian soldiers and uh, the head of uh, Ukrainian LGBTQ military for equal rights NGO. Viktor Kolopenko, Viktor, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Sure, I participated uh, in those times they called it uh, anti-terrorist operation, although it was a hybrid war of Russia against us. So I participated in it as a volunteer in a volunteer battalion, which was called Donbass. I conducted my services as an operator of grenade launcher mm -hmm. and as a paramedic as well. Yeah, our 72nd Recognized Brigade appeared to be the only one who was defending uh, the city from all sides. And we were preparing our positions from scratch. I remember it was freezingly cold. We were sleeping directly on, on the ground. And uh, every morning, approximately at 4 a.m., you wake up just covered in snow yeah. and you are starting to to move just not to get freezed to death so it lasted for some time when uh, uh, our brigade took over the russian forces so we destroyed their techniques we destroyed their columns which were trying to enter the city i remember in first days on the positions, I took out my uh, phone and there was a rainbow sticker on the on the phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the guys, he just asked me, hey, I, I know what's that mean. Yeah. I are you gay? And I said, just, yes. <laughs> Do you have pro any problems with that? And nobody cared about my sexual orientation because they saw me in action. They, they saw me rescuing people, providing first aid digging trenches together with them, sleeping under snow together with them. Yeah? The city is destroyed completely. It is under shelling. There are lots of wounded in here, killed as well. But the Ukrainian soldiers are holding the fight. We are not... We are not going to give up. Always dropped our 72nd Brigade to spots where there were the most heavy battles. Mm -hmm. Finally, well, they decided to give us a rest. And they decided to put us into a moderately calm line, which is Vuhledar, <laughs> Pavlivka, and in uh, those times a village near Vuhledar. When we arrived there, in the same day, uh, a hell started one more time. I remember my case of work, a pickup, was filled with blood. And uh, usually when we passed the wounded uh, further on, we uh, pressed his uh, vest and his uh, armor. At the end of the day, I had a whole big pile of vests and uh, AKs standing near near the wall, all in blood, sometimes 30 people even, mm. 30, can you imagine? Uh, as we are an LGBTIQ organization, we are represented by lesbians, gays, bisexual people, trans persons, yeah, intersex and queers as well. So in Achilles Brotherhood we have 310 uh, members already. 
We are also having a, a smaller group of uh, lesbian military ladies, uh, which is approximately more than 20 persons. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a smaller group for trans persons as well. В прошлом году Пилипенко запустил, так сказать, призывную кампанию, раскручивал и популяризировал свое подразделение. Сообщество боевых геев активно продвигают. Черно-красный единорог на аватарке в экстремистском инстаграме. Оно же братство Ахила. In Europe and in other countries, was that Ukrainian military is so neo-Nazi, is so homophobic, is so against European values and against human rights as well. But uh, we showed a different picture. We showed openly gay and lesbian, and trans people in the Ukrainian military.